Okay, so I got a little bowl. I'm gonna whisk my eggs in there. Get anything like that. I'm gonna take three eggs this time. Okay, to three cracked eggs, I'm gonna add in about a tablespoon or two of milk. Should be good. This softens up the egg and makes it a little bit more tender, I guess. Uh, I'm gonna add in about a quarter teaspoon of some salt. It's good. And I'm gonna crack a little black pepper in there. And then now you just gotta give this a nice whisk. And you don't really wanna see any white parts. It wants to be a consistent and homogeneous mixture. That looks pretty good. So here I have a nonstick pan. Nonstick pan is going to help you a lot with making eggs, and I have it at a medium heat. I've preheated it for about five minutes, so it's it's nice and warm here. To that, I'm going to add about maybe half a tablespoon of some butter, and let that coat and get the pan nice and get the flavor of the butter in there. So I got the bottom of the pan all coated with butter. It's time to add in our eggs. Get a little whisk again. There we go. And really you just gotta mix it around a little bit and get it all get the egg's gonna start to harden and solidify at some points. And you can just kind of whisk it around. Since this is scrambled eggs, it doesn't really hurt to well, make them into a nice scrambled mash. Some people like to just let it sit there and put it in the middle. And then flip it over. Wow, there was uh, some sort of fighter jet that just flew by here in Germany. Haven't heard that yet. It's kind of cool. And as long as you don't cook them too hot, they'll be nice and tender, they won't burn, and the butter will give it a really nice flavor as well. So now I can see that my eggs are starting to harden up a little bit, that's good. So it's starting to get a little harder, I'm going to try and flip this over a little bit. There we go. Looks nice and light and fluffy, these are going to be so delicious. And a very important thing when you're making eggs, or scrambled eggs, is to not overcook them. You actually almost want them to be a little bit undercooked and maybe liquidy around some of the parts because once you take it off, it's still got a little heat in there and it's going to continue to solidify and, and finish off. You all know that a really overcooked egg is bad and it's, it's just the texture is bad, it's not good, but if you cook it just right, it can be nice and fluffy and tastes really, really good. Definitely nearing the end here. So to my scrambled eggs, I'm going to add some bread, and we'll put a little lettuce garnish on there. This is some really good bread that I pick up at the local store here, and uh, it's called Lidl, but uh, it's got a bunch of pumpkin seeds, and you can see it's got so many pumpkin seeds, it's really, really yummy, and I think this will be a really delicious breakfast here in Germany. Thank you for watching.